You see, corruption is a cancer that has eaten deep into the fabric of the Nigerian polity. It is so pervasive in Nigeria that it has turned public service into some kind of criminal enterprise. Without further ado, I welcome you to this episode of So Would This Happen. This is where we highlight stories that made a buzz recently. My name is Margaret Osazua Efoge. You are welcome to the show. The Economic Financial Crime Commission arrested the Ogun Speaker at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, in the early hours of Thursday at about 9 a.m. He was said to have been on the wanted list of the commission following his failure to handle EFCC invitations several times. Now, reports have it that himself and some others were accused of forging signatures and financial documents of the assembly. Hmm. I really hope that the EFCC can continue to challenge the flexible or should I say rigid impunity enjoyed by this Nigerian's political elites. Well, at the time of filming this, the EFCC has flown the arrested Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Olakunle Oluomo, to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, for questioning. I think it's safe to say that Nigerians have finally been bedeviled with the jackpot syndrome. Because look at this young man now. He won't port by all means or any way now where he just won't port. Hmm. A 21-year-old Temple Samuel has been arrested by the Lagos State Police Command for stealing his boss's Lexus ES330 car. Now, according to investigations, the suspect who works in his boss's car wash at Egbeda drove the car away in the middle of the night with his boss's iPhone X and iPhone 13 to Bassi's house in Ikeja. He equally fraudulently transferred 75,000 Naira from his boss's account. The suspect had in fact perfected plans to use the proceeds of the sales of the car and all the valuables he stole to process his traveling out of the country. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police, C.P. Abiodu Alabi, has directed that the case be transferred to the state CID Kmanti for further investigations and prosecution. Hmm, Wahala times one million. How can one sit down and deploy means to dupe someone else of his hard-earned money? Honestly, the desperation of the younger generation to amass wealth is alarming. And to think that he thought he would escape <laughs> is really surprising. But you know what? We leave you to the law because wonders they see will never cease. In what could be described as the biggest upgrade since its inception, microblogging platform Twitter has announced on Thursday that it would be adding an edit tweet button. <laughs> Recall that sometime in 2020, Jack Dorsey, the co-founder who was the CEO until he stepped down in November 2021, had said Twitter would probably never have an edit button. His reasons were that you would need to delay tweets going live for a period of time if you didn't or left editing open for the lifetime of the tweet there's nothing to stop tweets being altered after they have been retweeted thousands of times. Now, fast forward to now, Twitter has added that it's introducing these features to the smaller group of paid users to gather more feedback, including how people could misuse it so that it can tune the edit button's functionality accordingly. Hmm. Since this our most requested feature to date, we want to make sure we get it right, it said. <laughs> I don't understand these people. So after 600 years, you finally listen to people, but now you want to add payment to it. <laughs> and wow, what did Musa no go see for kids? <laughs> if you enjoyed this highlight, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on all our social media platforms. My name is Margaret Usazuwa Efoge. Bye for now.